everybody, how's it going today? Today we're going to learn three quick uh, little just snacks as I call them, or meal starters. Uh, three licks that you can instantly throw into your playing. Just simple melodic phrases, there's nothing physically hard here, but it sounds cool. So uh, these are to be played over, in this case, an A minor, F major, G major kind of progression. Alright, so the chords are real simple, just A minor, F major, G major, and back to A minor. And we're only going to be playing power chords anyway, but the chords are implied by the, you know, the key signature and the notes you play. So real simple. So it's going to be A, like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Simple, just one of those guys. Just get okay, <clears> the <throat> first one here is going to be uh, over the A minor chord. Here's licking number one. So we got this. Real easy. So it's basically just A, D, E, A, G, E. And notice it starts on the root. That makes it real easy. Okay, let me slide down to the F on the third string, tenth fret. Same idea. So it's F, B, C, F, E, F. Following the same, uh, you know, intervallic uh, sequence. Okay, then just go two frets to your right, and we're on the G chord. So same idea: G C D G F G. And we're doing this one again because it's a double uh, loop of G. So that's it for that lick. Real simple. Okay, what you should do with this uh, once you learn how to apply it to the uh, backing track. Take this and move it through. Let's just do it in the key of C because it's easy. Okay, so just uh, learn to make a whole uh, you know scale practice out of it. And it's cool because you're getting better at your scales, but it won't sound like scales. And it, that's a good thing. I mean, yeah, you want to be able to go up, down, north, west, uh, east, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Every direction. But uh, you want to be able to do this kind of stuff too. So check this out. Here's over a C chord, for example. Here's a D minor. E minor, F major, the G chord, the 5 chord, the 6 chord, A minor, B diminished, and back to C. Yeah, each of those are, uh, you know, I'm, I'm leaving out the third, but the chord is still implied. Okay, so here's the next uh, you know, little melodic idea. So these are going to be add nine arpeggios. So here we go. A minor add nine. Here it is. Real easy. Just a root, fifth, and then uh, we jump up. Well, technically it's another fifth, but it's the, the ninth of the arpeggio, and then the, the third. So. Here's F add nine. Here's G add nine. Okay, let's take all that and apply it to a melodic sequence, uh, you know, just in the key of C, just going through each chord. So one chord, C major. Two chord, D minor. Oh, we have a, a visitor here. Say hi, Dorian. This is my son, Dorian. Yes, he's named after a mood. <laughs> also, um, like Dorian Gray from the, the book. Okay, that's enough, Dorian. It's getting kind of weird. <laughs> All right. So this is E minor and flat nine. Remember, we got an F note, so we have to change the shape on that. F flat nine. Okay, we're up to the, um, the F chord now, the four chord. Time for the G chord, the five. A minor, the six. B diminished. And back to C. Okay, 
Game of Thrones theme time. We're just going to steal a little segment from the Game of Thrones theme and uh, plug it in here. I also did a video on using this uh, over K Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb, which is not hard to find if you look at my YouTube channel. Alrighty, so we're, you know, we're taking the A minor FG thing. So let's, uh, let's just start with this. So uh -huh. here's A minor. So it's, uh, you know, it starts on the fifth of the chord, the E. Okay, so. And F chord. G. G twice, of course. Learn it uh, up an octave. So go ahead and take the Game of Thrones thing and let's, you know, make a scale sequence thingy out of that too. So here's C major. Hey, Dorian's back. Say hi, Dorian. Hi. Okay. It's Slush. Yeah. Mommy and Safari. Safari. I like it. All right, so here we go. Here's the C. D minor. E minor. G A minor B diminished and C again. You know, practice these, uh, you know, on up an octave too. So maybe try taking these three ideas and putting stuff together and mix it up and see what happens. So I don't know, let's give it a shot. So you get the idea. Try all kinds of different combos. It's all fun, cool stuff. Okay, thanks everybody for watching that video. I hope you got something good out of it. And uh, please, you know, go ahead and like my channel if you feel you got something out of it. And maybe share the video. And, you know, maybe check out my website. Uh, maybe look for me on Facebook. Like me on Facebook, too. I would appreciate all that because I plan on making many more videos. Uh, so... Leave a comment, let me know if you got anything good out of this. And this is the part where we say goodbye, right Dorian? Yeah, bye! Thank you, bye-bye. Stand back, I'm about to do science! <laughs> <laughs> That's good, buddy. Dude.